Hi teachers, in this tutorial I will be showing you some basic features of Schoology. I will also be helping you set up your account for the fall semester. You're going to use your district ID and password to log on. Once you're in, you're going to see a tab that says Courses. This page that I have displayed is a course. I created this course to help you. Schoology is organized by courses. This tab here is Groups, and Groups is a way to organize teachers or individuals. Resources are the activities you've created, perhaps they're assessments, assignments, templates that you can use year after year. You can move activities from your resources to a course. Here is your search icon. These four tiles will take me to the LMS App Center, which I'm going to show you how to do that later. This is my calendar, my message center, my notifications. We are going to set up our account and change our settings to make Schoology a little bit easier for us. Here under my name, I'm going to see a drop-down menu and I am going to select Settings. On this page, we're going to make sure that the account information displayed is how I would like it. We're going to go down. There's not much you can change on this page. It depends on your school district. But the most important thing on this page is setting your home page to course dashboard. Many of us have the default, which is recent activity. And that might be why Schoology seems overwhelming, filled with clutter. When you have your home page set to recent activity, you're going to get posts, comments, updates from all the courses that you belong to. You don't want that. We will also change that for your students. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go into notifications. And this one is important to me because this drove me bonkers. You're going to start by turning off all your notifications. Once you have turned those off, you will manually select the notifications that you need. Now remember, if you have assignment submissions clicked on, you will get a notification for each student. So if you have 36 students, 25 students, you will get an email notification for each of those submissions. So you decide what you what suits your lifestyle. Personally, I like to have materials overdue, then I can see which students have not submitted within the due date. Next, you will go through each one and decide what fits your needs. Here on the right, if you have the mobile app, you can select your notifications as well. The next thing we're going to do is go to privacy settings. Here, I have mindset to no one. I also have not clicked list profile in school directory. Once you decide what you want for school, you can also decide, do I want my profile in my school, your blog, and various other things. I have mindset to no one. And I click save changes. The last tab is the recycle bin. And actually this was very helpful for me because I accidentally deleted something and I was able to restore it. So here you can see what you have deleted and you can click this gear and click restore. Now we're going to go back to courses. You will see the name of your course up here. You will also be able to change the notifications of specific courses right down here. If you look here, I have in this course, I have not selected anything. So maybe for your professional development, you want all notifications off, but here you want just in this class, overdue materials. You decide what you find important. On the left here, I'm going to start from the top. This is where you're going to create your materials, your assignments, your assessments. We're going to do that in a different tutorial. I can edit my picture or I can change the picture here. I can upload my own image by clicking attach file. 
I can also choose one of these images here. Underneath the image, you're going to see your course options. You're going to, you can edit the information and do change other features here. Here's another recycle bin. This recycle bin is specific to this course. Now, some of these features will only be available if you are the admin of the course. Here is your grade book, your grade setup, your attendance, and here are your members or your students. This feature is important when you want to check activity. I'm going to click analytics and on the left you will see the student names. You will be able to see when they last accessed Schoology and your course materials. In this drop down you're going to see the historical data. Here on the left you're also going to see apps that I've installed. I am going to show you how to download an app through the LMS App Center. I'm going to select these four tiles and here you're going to see LMS App Center. Now you are going to have to go into your Chrome settings. Chrome seems to be the better browser to use and you are going to make sure that you have enabled your pop-ups. I'm going to show you how to change your settings. When you click LMS App Center, you may keep clicking and not see anything. That might be a clue that you need to adjust your pop-ups. This will be something that you are going to need to know to help your parents and students. You are going to go to your Google Chrome settings, which is your browser. You're going to select these three buttons and you're going to choose settings. You're going to allow certain permissions and allow pop-ups. That is found under site settings. You can also just type it in the search bar here. I'm going to select site settings. I'm going to select pop-ups and redirects and you will see the app Schoology. When I click this arrow, I will be able to change the settings. I'm going to allow the camera. Now this is also for your students. They need to allow the camera if you want photo submissions. I'm going to allow the microphone. I'm going to allow images and here is the pop-ups. I'm going to allow that as well. I also would like to block any ads personally. Now we're going to go back to the LMS App Center. I'm here in the LMS App Center. This is a pop-up. I'm going to type the app that I would like to install. Now you're not going to find every app here. It, you can only install apps that are integrated with Schoology and your district. I'm going to type Brain Pop. I just click enter and it will take me to this page. So I'm going to select Brain Pop. I will install the LTI app. I agree. And I can select which courses I would like to add it to. So I'm going to select sample first grade class and install. Now we're going to go back to our course. You can see that Brain Pop has now been installed. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment. I hope you found this useful.